In this video, let's take a look at how to create a frequency distribution in Microsoft Excel. Suppose you have a list of students along with their scores in a particular test. The test score varies from 1 to 100. And you are interested in knowing the number of students in the 1 to 10 range, number of students in the 10 to 20 range, number of students in the, in the 20 to 30 range, and so on and so forth. So in this video, we'll learn how to create a frequency distribution using pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. First of all, you will ensure that your source data is converted into an Excel table. This is needed because when you make additional entries in your data, those additional entries will be reflected in the pivot table when you refresh your pivot table. So to convert your source data into an Excel table, press Ctrl T on your keyboard and hit Enter. This will convert your data into an Excel table. Now go to the Insert tab, click on Pivot Table. You can select the existing worksheet or, in, or a new worksheet. I will select existing worksheet here. Then I will select the location. I will select cell A2 here. Then I will click on OK. Now bring one instance of score in the rows box and bring another instance of score in the values box. And here in the values box, you can see that it is the sum of score here but you have to convert it into count of score so click here on sum of score click on value field settings click on count here click on ok now click on pivot table analyze click on group selection select the starting point and ending point here your, your score starts from one so so select one here and ending point is 100 because your score ends at 100 now set the increment here I will select 10 here click on OK and here is your frequency distribution table three students fall in the range 21 to 30 six students fall in the range 31 to 40 six students fall in the range 41 to 50 and so on and so forth with a total of 221 students now you can observe here that Excel doesn't show the range 1 to 10 and 10 to 20 because no students fall in that range to force Excel to display those two ranges also, click anywhere in the pivot table, then right click, click on field settings, then click on layout and print here, then check mark show items with no data, then click on OK. And here you will see the ranges with count of zero. At the top of the pivot table, you have a less than one range and at the bottom you have a greater than 101. To hide them, click on the drop down box here, then uncheck less than 1 and greater than 101 click on ok so here is your final frequency distribution table i hope this video was helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up keep supporting subscribe the channel thanks for watching